Hello, it's Tom here again. And if you're watching this video today, what I really want to explain to you is an easy way, and I mean, it's definitely not that easy trying to explain the next uh, evolution of society, definitely, but um, probably the easiest way that I've come across explaining what blockchain technology or Ethereum is uh, or Bitcoin is, okay? So really, when it comes down to the truth of it, Ethereum or Bitcoin technology, uh, blockchain technology is no different to the way us humans, our brains operate when we're all standing in a room together or all standing in a community together, okay? So if you just imagine 10 people standing in a room, okay? Those 10 people, they all have brains and they're all recording events, okay? So it's a peer-to-peer -peer recording of the events and they're doing it using their brain. So if Jack hands $10 to Peter and then Peter turns around, or say for instance, Jack hands $10 to Peter and then all those other brains in the room or the community, they all record that event. It's just an event that occurs. Uh, they record it with their human brain. Uh, then if Peter turns back and says, hey, you didn't give me $10. Well, all the other brains actually did see the event occurred and they actually enforce it because, or it sort of naturally gets enforced because everybody else saw the event occur. and. And that's their reality. And so and this is a natural application of blockchain technology, uh, that, the way our brains do it. Now, the unfortunate thing is that when we started using computers, we didn't actually carry the same type of recording of information or this type of phenomenon uh, into the computer world. Instead, we save all our information on, on one computer and we get this sort of silo effect where it's this one computer that has all the information. And, and that type of effect, uh, really, when you really think deep into it, it can really shatters society in a lot of ways because it's the people in control of those computers that have all the power. And if you try and take that type of phenomenon, uh, you know, the way we use computers and bring it back into a room of 10 people standing in a room, it's pretty much exactly the same as 10 people standing in the room and only one person having a memory and all the other nine other people basically have a memory like a three second fish. So you can imagine what that would be like, um, you know, the person who had a memory in that room who could record the events and all the other confused people would be standing around confused every three seconds, not able to record an event. And so if Jack hand some money to Peter, then, uh, you know, and Peter was, uh, you know, the only one that could record events, then you can imagine how powerful be, he would become. So blockchain technology, that's all it is, okay? It's just applying that same uh, human phenomena uh, human recording, peer-to-peer -peer recording of events and applying it to the computering systems of today. So if that really makes sense to you, then blockchain technology should really, really sink in now because you'll start thinking, okay, well, hang on, if we just apply that to money, what if we apply it to everything else? Because let's look at this really, okay, when some money, which is just a made up idea anyway, is handed to another person, that's just an event. So this is where the idea of smart contracts come in, okay? So smart contracts are just recorded events, okay? So if Jack starts talking, we could have a smart contract where anything he says, all the other brains are recording it. They're all, they're all processing and recording it, and that's all a smart contract is, okay? It's just recording any type of event. If Jack jumps up and down, and then later on Jack says he didn't jump up and down, but the other 10 people in the room say he did, then that's a smart contract, okay? So applying that same type of phenomenon or that same type of process online using our computers is all blockchain technology. So it's really that simple. Uh, that's the live network going right now. So um, what I wanted to point out though is that, so instead of getting our human brains to do it, because once you reach the, the uh, Dunbar's number, I think it's a 150 or 300, some people say, but our, our, our brains have a limited capacity and we've got 7 billion people on the planet and trying to organize or align 7 billion people uh, and different people have memories or different people have computers and others don't, it's just a nightmare. And so the best way to do this is actually to implement some type of distributed network. Uh, where, you know, I can't remember, I can't hold a database of 7 billion people in my head and the other 7 billion people, they can't either. So we have to offload this type of work to computers, which is what we've been sort of semi doing and we're just moving more and more into this technology. So it is really a huge paradigm shift, but it's something that we're all slowly gravitating towards because we see, we are, some of us are seeing the breakdowns in society, some of us are you know, completely off of the birds and the bees, but the majority of us are, okay? We're awake. Um, and so 
It's really cool. And so I encourage you to look up more about it, but this is what's really cool here. So instead of using our brains to do it, what I was pointing out on this video here is that we're using computers to do it. So computer A is sending money to computer B and all the other computers are recording the event, okay? And I will talk about, uh, some people really freak out because they're like, oh, hang on, transparency, oh no, does that mean everything about me is gonna be recorded? No, that's not the case, okay? When you delve deeper into the technology, you really know that's not the case, it's the architecture. And I'll probably shoot another video about um, what open source really means, uh, but I, I can't really do it justice just on uh, one video. So I will shoot a completely separate video. But all we're doing here is we're using that blockchain uh, concept and we're applying it to computers. So computer A sends some money to computer B and the other computers are recording it. They're just, they're just uh, registering the event. And with Bitcoin, they're registered on a public ledger. Um, and the same too with Ethereum where you can do smart contracts. You can not only just do money, but you can do uh, events of any type. Um, it's just being registered, okay, on these computers. And those computers uh, basically record it and they enforce it. So that's a really simple explanation of how um, blockchain technology works. Uh, it's no different to the way our, our human brains work now. If you're, you know, watch this video a couple of times, uh, definitely if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel or check out the links in below. And if you're really coming stuck to trying to explain this to a friend, then share them this video, okay? And hopefully it will clear up a few things. But that's the best explanation that I've come across that's worked so far in explaining what blockchain technology really is. So have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.